Hello and welcome to part three in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to create amazing PowerPoint presentations using only Python. At the end of part two, I showed you how to create a slide with bullet points and how to have various levels of indentation within those bullet points. And I also showed you how to add pictures to a slide. In this third part, I'll be showing you how to add auto shapes to that presentation. And I'll also be showing you how to edit those auto shapes to have a specific color and rotation and shape. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to override this part three and we're gonna have it so it resembles the end of part two. And then we can work at creating it together. So how I do that is if I go to the bottom here, to the code we had at the end of part two, I just save the file as part three. So we'll create a new file. And if we run it, press any T key to continue, and then open it up. This should resemble the end of part two, which is good. Exactly what I wanted. Now we can get going. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to create our register our slide and our new slide and put it in to our existing PowerPoint presentation. Now, just a reminder that our presentation is called PR1, which we created literally as our first line. Presentation brackets equals PR1. So we need to create our slide and put it into PR1. And we do that by typing in PR1.slide underscore layouts and then square brackets five. And five is a specific reference to a layout which has only the title bar and then the rest of it is blank. And I've given that the variable slide for underscore register. And that successfully registers a slide with a specific layout. The next thing we need to do is we need to add this slide to the PowerPoint presentation. And we do that by using a function called add underscore slide. So if we type in PR1, calling our main presentation, dot slides, dot add underscore slide, and then in brackets, we type in slide for underscore register, the variable which we use to register our slide. We have now added that to our PowerPoint presentation, and I've also given that the variable slide for. So everything we do now will be put into our slide for. So if I run that code now, we would have created our fourth slide, but it will have nothing in it. So if I open the slide now, we'll see here that we've created our fourth slide with a specific layout, but we've got nothing in it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna specify a title, and then we're gonna add our first shape. So let's do that. So first thing I'm gonna do is add a title. So we type in slide four dot shapes dot title, similar to what we've done in previous slides, and we've given that variable title four, and then what we can do is add some text to that um, title, that title text, that title four, by typing in title four dot text equals, and then we can specify what value we want. In this case, it's shape work. So if I run that, we'll see now that we've had our title added, similar to what we've done in slides one, two and three. Here, see in our fourth slide, we've got the title shape work. Cool. So the next thing we're gonna do is add our first shape. Now in order to add shapes, we need to actually import a subsection of our PPTX module. So what we need to do first is go right to the top and import firstly our shape, which is which is the, the, the section we need to import is the um, MSO underscore shape section, which if you type in from pptx.enum.shapes and then import and then MSO underscore shape, that will now enable us to import shapes into our Python into our Python PowerPoint presentation. So now what we can do is we can go to the bottom and we can create our shape. Now remember before in our part two, we've already installed the inches part of our module. 
So what we need to do now is just reuse that to specify a position for our shape to, to sort of fit on the slide. So what we can do now is I made it very easy for myself by just typing in left one equals top one equals width one equals height one equals inches two. And what that pretty much means is that the left, the distance from the left will be the same as distance from the top for this first shape and the width and the height of the shape will also be the same as distance it is from the left of the slide and the top of the slide. Which in this case is two. So the next thing we need to do is add our first shape and then specify the positioning of our shape given the left, top, width and height. So what you can do now is if you type in slide four dot shapes dot add underscore shape and then in the brackets we specify MSO underscore shape which is what we imported at the top here MSO underscore shape we can now import our shapes but firstly we also need to specify what shape we want so if you type in MSO underscore shape dot and then we can specify a shape in this case I've gone for a rounded rectangle now there are so many shapes to choose from. What you can do is look in the documentation and I may put a link in the documentation to the documentation as a comment below because there are so many shapes to choose from. I've chosen rounded rectangle. So what I've done is typed in rounded underscore rectangle, specifying a shape. And then now we need to specify the position. So in this case, I've got left one, top one, width one, and height one. And then I've closed brackets. And so that has now created our shape. So if I run it, then we can open our file again. We will now have our first shape in a sort of default fill color. Cool. So now, let's go back and create our second shape. Now with this second shape, what we're going to be doing is we'll be changing the shape, we'll be changing the color and changing their rotation, adding a rotation in there. So let's do that. Firstly, let's change the positioning of it. So let's type in left two equals inches six, which is different to the value of inches we use for the rounded rectangle. And then type in top two equals inches two then this time we can specify the width and the height being the same as inches too. So this will have a different positioning to our first shape that we've created. Cool. And in this case, we're going to go for a down arrow instead of a rounded rectangle. So if I type in slide four dot shapes dot add underscore shape, and then we call our MSO underscore shape. And this time we type in dot down underscore arrow instead of dot rounded rectangle and then in comma we after the comma we specify positioning in this case left two instead of left one top two width two and height two so now if we run that now we should have two shapes in our fourth slide so open the file here we go two shapes in our fourth slide, both with a default fill color. One rounded rectangle, one down arrow. The next thing we're gonna do is change the color of this down arrow, and then we're gonna rotate it. So let's do that. So the first thing we need to do, because we're now editing this shape that we've created, we actually need to go to the top and we need to import another section of the pptx module called mso theme color and how we do that is if we go type in from pptx.enum.dml and then space import and then mso underscore theme underscore color that will now enable us to edit our shape so after we've imported that we can now go to the bottom again to our code and we can start editing it. So what we can do now is if we type in arrow one 
which is our variable arrow, a down arrow that we created, dot fill, and I've given that the variable fill underscore arrow one. So now we can use fill underscore arrow one to edit it. So what you can do now is we're gonna choose a solid color we're gonna fill it with by typing in fill underscore arrow one dot solid and then have some normal brackets. And then what we can do is type in fill underscore arrow one dot four underscore color dot theme underscore color. Color spelt the American way. And if we type in equals, and this is where we're calling our MSO underscore our editing part of the mod of the PPTX module that we just imported. So if we type in um, fill underscore arrow one dot four color dot theme color equals MSO theme color dot accent underscore two. And accent underscore two will change this arrow to be a different color. In this case, the theme color of the second accent. And you can change this accent to in order to change the color. So you can have accent three, four, five, and so on. So if we run run this now, we should have one blue shape and one shape in a different color. So if we open this part three, we see here now that we've got exactly that. We've got a normal blue shape and we've got a red shape here. Cool. Now we're going to rotate this arrow to be 90 degrees. So let's do that. And quite simply, we type in arrow one dot rotation equals 90. And you can change this value to change the rotation. So in this case, I'm only rotating it 90 degrees clockwise. You can also change it to be 90 degrees anti-clockwise by typing in minus 90 instead of plus 90. You can also change it to be however value you want between 0 and 360, positive and negative. So if we stick with 90 and then run the code, and then open part 3 again, go down to our fourth slide, and we can see here that now we have rotated our arrow 90 degrees. Cool. So that is it for this tutorial and this part. In the next part, I'll be showing you how to add tables, possibly, and I'll be also showing you some other stuff as well. So thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe. I'm so glad you followed this tutorial all the way through to part three. Keep going if you still want to know more. And please share this with, with someone who you feel may benefit from this. Thank you very much for watching.